Echo, echo. That's better. That is the last thing that we need. There we go. And we got all the lights on. We got extra good lighting tonight, which should be awesome. Because last night our lighting was not so great. Okay, there we go. All right. That's much better. So we're going to get started tonight. Um, unfortunately, we had an accident earlier today. So we were not able to finish all three of the paintings that I wanted to get done. Um, but that's why the paintings are going to start off with number four tonight. It's because I thought that we would be doing three today. But that's what I get for planning and making a plan. Um... I'm unwrapping this burgundy because I really want to use this burgundy. So we need to figure out something to do to where we can use this color. It's kind of a pretty color. And then after we water it down, it may end up being a little lighter than this. So this may be the darker end of what we've got going on. Hey, Elk. Elk got the only painting today that we actually completed. So, like I said, I'm going to have my husband help me fix it. He already has a pretty good idea of how to do the setup. So, hopefully, with the better setup, it'll work a little better. But we're basically going to take, like, the wooden thing that I put my black light on when we do black light painting, and we're going to just kind of put it in here. And then, yeah, we have good plans for that one. So, hopefully... Fingers crossed that one will work out. But that's the reason we're starting on painting number four. Is because I thought I was going to have three completed paintings today. But that didn't work out for us exactly. Okay. So I'm just getting our first one started. Just actually number four. Okay. So let's go ahead and start mixing this color and then we can figure out what other colors we want to go with it. All right, so because we are making our own paint, pouring paint, I'm going to be mixing our regular acrylic paint with our Ooh, flow trawl. Since we're making our own kind of thing for this one. And that may be too much, but that's okay. We don't have to use all that in one painting. And then we are going to add about one or two silicone drops. And bam, we just turned acrylic paint into pour paint. And then let's go up just a little more. There we go. That's a little better view. All right, so we're going to start out with this color. Which the color is saying that it's burgundy, but really like, I don't know, this kind of looks like a berry color to me. So we need to find a reason to use this. This actually, I don't know, this is kind of a weird color. This is kind of like, this doesn't even look burgundy to me. I mean, it looks kind of burgundy, but this looks like, I don't know. It looks like frosted red or something. Which I guess is kind of what burgundy is, because burgundies are red. Alright, so let's start out with that guy. And then let's figure out what other colors we want to mix with it. I think maybe an ivory would be nice. I have an ivory. 
which is kind of different from matte white. I don't know. It could be like a cranberry holiday type painting. Strawberry shake. I think that's a good name for it. It definitely looks like crushed up strawberries. Like, like, I don't know, like you just took them and mixed them up. Light cranberry. Yeah, it does. It doesn't look like a burgundy to me. It looks like all those other things, but not a burgundy. Yeah, it does kind of look like a rose color. It's definitely got a lot of red in it, but it does have some pink now that I think about it. Okay, let's try those with it. Let's see. Rose gold. Um, bronze and brown. Yeah, it does kind of like, it's like a dusty red. Almost like a, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe this color. I think Strawberry Shake was pretty close. Um, I thought it was going to be like more burgundy looking. Okay, and brown, let's try the brown too. And I feel like we need another color here. I just don't know what. We've got brown, rose gold, copper, and whatever this color is. So, brick house. Yeah, I think it's like brick too. I do think brick. Let's do the ivory with it. Let's just see how it looks. And we'll start out with that and then we'll work our way to something else. But yeah, that color is kind of disappointing for me. It says burgundy. Because I'm still waiting for uh, Michaels to send me more of this color, which to me is more of a burgundy. So, I don't know, but we're going to try it out anyway. We're going to use our burgundy. Put some extra cells in it. Let's put some cell, uh, some cells in the rose gold. I love this rose gold. This rose gold goes so good with everything. Totally forgot to put the drops in that guy. That's okay, because I want to add some more rose gold to it anyway. These two colors do look pretty together, though. And we'll do a nice brown or burnt umber. Here's my other brown. Where are you, brown? There's no way. It can't be out of brown. There it is. I was going to say, I thought I had some more brown. All right, and then let's do our ivory and our copper. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Let's take a look. Yeah, I put, I put, I did end up putting a little bit of ivory. I feel like it needed something extra too. Ooh, this lighting is working pretty good. Um, I do have, um, oh my gosh. It, you know what? Michael's like, I already, like they're running out of colors. I'm like, need to find another place to get my poor paints locally. I was thinking about going to Hobby Lobby, but I hate to go there because Michael's has such good coupons. And so we can definitely add a little pop of green too, though. Let's do some emerald. This is in the same color family. Um, but, uh, yeah, I hate it when they run out of the paints that I need. And like I said, I hate to just go to Hobby Lobby too, because they don't have the same coupons that Michael's does. I like getting all my stuff from Michael's, but I may have to figure something else out because I ordered these burgundy paints like last week and they're still like processing it, but that could be because it's December. And I know that right now all the shipping is wonky and um, kind of crazy right now. Like stuff that usually only takes two days to get here, like now takes like a week. So um, I do think that, that the holiday season has a lot to do with it. So maybe it'll get better after that. Okay. Oh, wow, you're at Michael's right now. That's funny. I love Michael's, but I do not like going to Michael's during this time of year. It's, like, really crowded. It's really busy. Usually there's nobody there. But it's, I don't know, this time of year is crazy. I don't like going anywhere this time of year, honestly. It's a crazy town. Wow. Okay. Sorry. I, that my, my phone looked like it was frozen. My phone's trying to tell me to schedule an update. I'm like, what are you doing? You have to shut down everything going on, on my phone to tell me that. Ugh. I know. I think that I'm buying all the poor paint there and they can't stock it fast enough, but there's dirt, certainly like certain colors that we use more than others, you know? And those are the colors that they're out of. They better not run out of copper, though. That would be really bad. Yeah, this new lighting is so much better. Yep, the self-checkouts they have now. We have the same thing at ours, Wendy. It's ridiculous. And nobody knows how to use a self-checkout. Nobody wants to use a self-checkout because they're afraid they're not going to get their coupons and... I don't know. And then sometimes I have to pick up an order at the store and then I also have to check out. And so I don't know. It's like a lot of drama at Michael's right now. I'll just be glad when <laughs> Christmas is over and I can just go in there and get what I need without like all the chaos. I know some people like that, you know, that holiday shopping atmosphere, but I don't, I don't like it at all. It's too much for me. Usually anytime I go out in public, like I'm out in public for five minutes and I already want to go home. So, ooh, I love the way this is turning out though. This is cool. These are really pretty colors. Oh, <laughs> 
Yep. Wendy knows what I'm talking about. Wendy's been to Michael's recently. <laughs> Just like, ugh. Why aren't there any more craft stores? Like I said, I could I should probably figure out Hobby Lobby, but the Hobby Lobby app is terrible. And I know that, that Hobby Lobby, I love getting like little decor and things like that, but as far as art supplies, I generally get my stuff at Michael's. They do sell a lot of this on Amazon too, but you don't get like the coupons and the points on Amazon like you do at Michael's. I don't know. I may just go back to mixing my own uh, acrylic paints again because it takes so long to get the poor paints in stock. But they always have like a billion of those little acrylic paint bottles, you know? Like they always have these. You can get these anywhere, anytime, you know, and they're not that expensive. So we may just have to go back to making our own paints since they're all sold out. Let's do a close up. Oh, well, you didn't miss anything, Kay Berklin. My um, pendulum painting machine broke. So, yeah, it didn't turn out quite like I had planned. It just kind of snapped and BBs went everywhere. It was like, okay, we'll just try this again later. So, yeah, don't worry. You did not miss anything. Um, the silicone I get at Michael's, and I just buy the silicone drops. And they're in the uh, pour paint section next to all the paints. And as far as brands, I really don't have a brand preference. Um, I like Artist Loft because they always seem to, like, perform pretty consistently. And so I generally like that brand. I feel like they're a, a good quality brand. But I do also use other brands as well. Um, like, for example, I use DecoArt. This is a less expensive brand. But it really also depends on colors, too. Because certain brands have certain colors. And I may see a color that I really like. And I'll just get it regardless of the brand. But we can also mix our own, too, if we need to. It just depends, really. But I used to mostly mix all my own paints, and then I started buying them in the ready-to-pour phase. Um, and then I got this brand from Amazon. I tried it. It was okay. Pouring Masters. I think they all pretty much work the same. I guess I probably do have a preference, though, towards these um, Artist Loft, though. Just because I know what to expect from these, usually. They usually have the same consistencies. Okay, so let me write down our colors we used. We used the burgundy that we mixed ourselves. We used emerald green. We used ivory. We used copper. I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. Oh no, we used uh, burnt umber. A brown. It's a really pretty chocolate brown. You know, like for example, this um, this is the Deco Art brand, Burnt Umber, and I just love this color of brown. You know, so I'll end up using this brand just because I really love this color. So it just really depends. Yeah, Artist Loft is definitely more expensive than the Deco Art. Um, but they do last, the bottles tend to do, they do last for a while, you know. Um, so, but yeah, I just hate it. Some of this stuff is expensive. That's why it's pretty cheap to make your own paints, you know. Like they sell these paints for like 50 cents, a dollar, whatever it is. And then Floetrol, which I buy at Home Depot, I think this is anywhere from like 10 to 15 bucks. I forget the exact price. Um, and it, this is a gallon, you know, so that'll last you for a long time. So it's probably cheaper to make your own. But it just depends on how you want to do it. There's just so many different ways people, people do things. Where's the cat? Oh, I see the dinosaur. Oh. 
Some people see a cat and some people see a dinosaur. Okay. I see a dinosaur. I also feel like this could be like the top like fourth of a teddy bear head. That's the ear. I don't know. Kind of weird. Let's do a close up look on this guy. Yeah, I like the little cells and things that are on this side. This is really pretty. Lots of pretty copper and burgundy together in that one, really. And then there's the top. And then you can see that's kind of cool. That ivory and copper cell, that's kind of neat. And then kind of a copper haze. And then I really like this brown and copper section. Yeah, I, see, I feel like this is a strawberry shake, too. But yeah, I totally see the dinosaur. That's like all I see. It looks like that tiny, uh, that dinosaur from Toy Story. The little T-Rex guy. That's who he reminds me of. Okay, let's do a... There we go. Close up on that guy. Yeah, I do like the copper paint. I see the dino too. That's generally what I see in it, but I don't know. So what should we call this one? T-Rex? Um, dino Cat, that's a good one. Dinos and Cranberries. I have some good names tonight. Strawberry Beach. Definitely. Yeah. I like the burgundy. The burgundy actually worked out pretty well in that one. I wasn't really sure when I saw this color in the cup because I'm not a huge fan of how this color came together. It's a lot different than the burgundy that I like. This is like probably, but this is a lot more purple, you know? This is probably a closer to being a true burgundy. But. Dino cat. It does look like, a, it does kind of look like a dino cat. So I guess we can auction that one off and then we'll figure out what colors we're going to do next. These, I was just trying to find a reason to use this color because I hadn't used it yet and I wasn't sure what it was going to look like. And now we know. Dino magic. I like it. Okay, where is this one? Painting number four. Because we're just going to be doing five paintings tonight, and then we're going to be doing our drip tray. So that should be interesting. Um, but yeah, this guy is a 12 by 12. They do take 12 to 24 hours to dry, so just keep that in mind. And then I spray them with a nice glossy resin spray, which I usually have in front of me to show you guys. But I was actually using it today because I have a bunch of paintings to mail out tomorrow and I was sealing them up so it has this beautiful resin spray and sealer so that if you guys want to clean it off all you have to do is just kind of use a wet not a wet cloth really just kind of a damp a little damp cloth and you can wipe it off kind of like you would um, your TV or your computer screen just be careful and it'll come right off so um, that's why we add the protective gloss so that it'll be nice and glossy for you guys as well as protect it. But yeah, this is a cool dinosaur painting. I definitely see the dinosaur in this one. There are a lot of really interesting, um, portions of this painting though, in my opinion. Oh, congratulations to PETA loves you. Um, yes, the gloss also helps protect from moisture and it just um, adds to the life of the painting overall. So that's why I like to use it just for the protection and then for the glossiness. 
Peter, you're awesome. So now you get to name the painting. You can um, come up with your own name or you can use one of our suggestions. And our suggestions are T-Rex, Dino Cat, Dinos and Cranberries, Strawberry Beach, and Dino Magic. Dino Cat. Yeah, that's my favorite one too. Let me grab my highlighter so I can highlight it. So I wrote down this color combination in case anyone wants to try it again. Because we've got our organization going on here. So those are our colors. And then you also get to decide if you'd like to add glass to this painting or not. And I'm not sure if you know about the glass or how that works. But um, you can add the glass as an optional accent to any part of your painting if you want to. Um, we've got a light blue, we've got a light pink, we've got gold, and these are smaller pieces, they're kind of like an antique gold color, and then we also have this uh, clear slash silver, so it's up to you whether you want to add it or not as an accent, but those are our choices there. So completely up to you and like I said sometimes people will want to put them in a corner they'll want to put a certain color with it um, I can show you an example of what it looks like here's one of our Christmas paintings that we did the other day and this guy has um, we um, added glass on this one the uh, person that won the auction decided they wanted a little bit of glass at the bottom. And so that's kind of how it looks when it's dry. This one I haven't sprayed with the gloss yet, but I'm probably going to spray it either tonight or tomorrow because this guy's dry. But you can see what the glass does to it. And that was one of our, that was one of our Christmas themes. So... But, you know, that's just an example of what the glass looks like as an accent. It's totally optional, totally up to you. They just give you a little bit more dimension, give you a little bit of bling. Okay, awesome. So you like it as is? Perfect. All right, so I'm going to put this aside to dry. So everyone say goodbye to the dino cat. And then look at these pretty cells that are developing. That's just so cool looking. I hope you love your painting. So we got to figure out what we're doing on the next one. So let me flip over my page on my clipboard. Looks like polluted water. <laughs> pollution. We'll call it pollution. That one, that one cell, those are really some unique looking cells. So let's see, this is 1201. Got to stay organized and keep everything numbered and dated otherwise that would not be good all right so we have to figure out our next set of colors i don't know if we want to use a burgundy again or if we're kind of just done with this color tonight i don't know we might be kind of done with it i have to be honest i was not not very impressed with it I think it looked really pretty with the copper, though. I think it needed the other colors to really bring out what it had. Like, these colors together, these were really pretty. 
I don't know. Maybe I'm just set in my ways with my old burgundy. I have a chartreuse. I don't have much lime green left. Oh, wait. I do have a lime green. Because I got another one of these kits. Where is it? I do have lime green. I was going to say, I have chartreuse. This is Nova Fine's favorite color. She calls it pea soup. Um, we have that one. It's This ends up being like a little more yellowy. But then this one's the neon green. And that's pretty true to color. If that makes sense. But yeah, I have another one of those guys because I got another one of these little neon kits, which is what I always recommend for people that are uh, wanting to get started with pour painting. They sell these little starter sets at Michael's and you can buy the, you know, one of these little starter sets and a two pack of canvas for anywhere from like less than 20, maybe 25 bucks, you know, and you can try it out and see if you enjoy doing it. And then from there, you know, you kind of grow your supplies out, but I always recommend the starter kits to people. I feel like they're a good combination of everything. All right, so we'll try the burgundy again, which is good because we have some of that mixed. Um, I don't have any metallic mixing medium, but what I do have is an iridescent uh, mixing medium. And this is basically what you would mix with any color and it'll give it kind of like a pearl, kind of metallic finish, mostly like a pearl finish, but it also gives it like the same shine of metallic wood. Really. I've been looking for some metallic mixing medium. I ordered this one, I think on Amazon and I'm trying to find something that's more metallic, but this is the closest I could find. Cause I really wanted to be able to mix every color I had as a metallic. Um, but we do have that as an option. Um, yeah, basically you can mix it and it'll, it'll give it a metal. If you mix like a matte and a metallic, it'll, it'll be something in between, you know? So it'll be, you know, part metallic, part matte, or it'll just be like a lighter metallic than it would be by itself. I have not tried that yet. Yeah, I have. I've been looking for a metallic mixing medium. Like I said, I looked on Amazon and on Michaels, and I couldn't find one. The closest I could find with this was this is this iridescent. Um, I'm sure they make one. I'm pretty sure they do, but I just haven't been able to find where they have it yet. Okay. We could, I haven't tried it with the chartreuse yet, but we could for sure. All right, let me scroll back up and get our color combo here. Oh, I just, and I just saw Jack's suggestion too. Let me write these down. Okay, lime green. Okay, I thought you were saying neon green. I actually do have something that's, I mean, the neon's kind of limey, and then the chartreuse is kind of limey. But I also have, where is it? I also have this guy, which is pretty limey too. Um, so let me see. Let me write down Jack's color combo too. And then we'll do those two next. Light purple. Luckily I do have more lavender. I did get more light purple, so I do have that one. Um, my next show, I believe, is um, 1.30 tomorrow. 
which is my time, mountain time. So um, that would be, I don't know. I usually try to tell people at Eastern time. I feel like more people go on Eastern time, but that just may be in my mind. But um, so it would be 3.30 Eastern or 1.30 mountain time tomorrow afternoon. Um, awesome. Well, thanks for stopping in, Kay Birkeland. We'll probably try it anyway because we like to try new color combinations. And that's one I don't think I've done. So, and I'm like I'm saying, we always have to try them all. And then I'm writing down Jack's color combo too. Green, white, tan. Okay. We'll do that one for number six. All right. I think we're focused now. It just takes me a minute sometimes to write all these down because I, I feel like I need to keep all these good ideas together. All right. So we've got burgundy, silver. Um... White. And then light green. That looks fun. I don't know which light green we want to do. What do you guys think with this? Uh, with, let's see. We've got white, silver, burgundy, and then we're going to throw one of these greens in. I've got a light green. And I've also got a chartreuse. But you know what? We'll go ahead and put this in the mix, too, in case you guys... And then there's also a green neon. With those colors. So we've got chartreuse, light green, and green neon. So I don't know. Probably could go anyway with it. Um... Yes, Caddy, we did that one, but those are pretty colors. We can definitely do another one. Let me write that down. Those are good colors. Okay, we're liking all these greens. Green. Okay, a lot of people are liking the green neon. A lot of people are liking the light green, too. Taja Lake Chartreuse. Should we just do both of them? I think so, too. So, everyone's voting on neon green for sure. And then... We'll just do both of them. When in doubt, just add more colors to it. Just keep adding colors until you run out of colors. And then let me write down the rest of these colors for Caddy before I get distracted again. Gotta get these written down here. Gotta keep all of our ideas together here. We got the metallic cobalt blue, metallic white. These are, this was kind of like the frozen, like glacier type theme, snowflake type theme, it seems like. Okay, light blue, silver, teal, rose gold with cells. Okay, we'll do that one for the, okay, we're organized tonight. We'll do that for painting number seven. Okay, cool. All right. Good. We know what we're doing for the next couple paintings. That makes it easy on me. Okay, let's mix these guys together. Um, one of the greens with cells. Okay, let's do the neon green with cells. Oh. I've really fallen in love with these neons. They always give such a nice pop of color. I 
I think these are going to be some cool colors. There's silver. And then we're going to add our neon green. Look how festive this looks in the cup. Oh my gosh, this is almost like the color of the Grinch. I think I've already got some ideas for names for this guy. Take a look at the cup. It looks like the Grinch. It looks like a Grinch explosion. Merry Grinchmas. Okay, let's go ahead and do this guy. This is number five. All right, and then this guy is going to be a 9 by 12 size frame. Michael's is out of my 11 by 14s, which is what I usually prefer to use. So I have the 9 by 12s. We're going to see what this guy looks like. Oh, wow, look at this. This is totally Grinchy. I love it. What a great color combination. And look at all the cells in this. Oh, this is fun. I love it. I think Mary Grinchmas is probably going to be pretty perfect for this one. It looks like a Grinch. Like a Grinch theme. I don't know. Not necessarily looks like a Grinch. I don't know. It might look like a Grinch. There might be a Grinch in here somewhere. But um, to me, I see like a Grinch theme. The like Grinch colors. Definitely seeing all the colors in this one. Because, you know, sometimes you only see one or two of the colors or there's a real dominant color. But I love this, too. This is pretty. This this is totally Grinch theme. I'll do a close-up on that guy, too. But, yeah, I love it. You can see all the colors. You can see the burgundy. You can see the neon green. You can see the lighter green. I think that it definitely needed both of those greens. I don't think it would have given us that cool Grinch effect if we didn't have both the greens. Because I think the Grinch is like both of those colors. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I would love it if there was a Grinch face in this. That would be so cool. Let's look closer. Because this is a Grinch uh, painting. And then we'll look really close at it. I want to write down the name, though, Mary Grinchmas. Mary Grinchmas. Neon Tornado. Yes. Top middle. I don't know, but the cells in this one are really pretty. I see like a duck face. Like I see a beak right there. I'm like desperately trying to see a Grinch in this. <laughs> I'm like, please, I want to see a Grinch in this picture. 
Just because these colors are so perfect. All right, let's do a close-up. Maybe somebody will see a Grinch. I love this. Yeah, these colors are great. Like I said, I'm totally getting Grinch vibes. And then you can see like the red kind of coming through there too. And you can see the cells developing on that one. And then you see the white. And then you see some really cool funky cells here with some red and other colors like that. I really like this little flash that goes through it up here. I think that looks neat, but the cells at the top are really cool for sure. I love that. That was fun. Merry Grinchmas. The duck part you see is the Grinch hair. Um. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it now. I see it. There's his head right there. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited I got to see a Grinch in that. Thanks, Boss Cat. This is really cool. But really, I can't take a lot of credit for this. These are you guys' color suggestions, honestly. But wow. I just love that. That was fun. I'm going to put a big asterisk by that one. Because we may want to do that one again, especially for Christmas. Um, the Grinch's heart. That's a good one. The Grinch's heart. Neon Key West. Yeah, definitely. It could be any of those things. I just love that. That's so festive, too. I think it needed those both of those greens. I think those greens really like look cool together. Lucky charms. They're always after me, lucky charms. Yeah, the cells look awesome. They're really developing. Let's look at them again before we auction them off. So grinchy. Oh, and there's the Grinch head. Right there. For anybody that's trying to find the Grinch head, there it is. If I can see it, you probably can too. I'm usually the last person to see these shapes for some reason. Thanks, Unicorn. Honestly, it's a group effort. Like these color combinations, a lot of these are not in my comfort zone, and so I would never try them without people suggesting them. So I can't take all the credit for these at all. Um, and there are a lot of talented artists and people that know some great color combinations that always come in and make it awesome. Okay. So we'll start this guy out. Um, and this one is a nine by 12, just to keep in mind of that. Um, let me move it back. There we go. So you guys can see it. Definitely very Grinch vibes. Um, I don't know. We got a lot of really good names for it. And they're all very Grinchy. So. <laughs> I think everybody likes the. They like the uh, neon green. The neons always bring a pop of color. I'm always scared to add a neon to a painting. And then every time I do, I always end up loving it. You know. Always end up being really happy with the way that it came out. So, and I think it looks great in this one for sure. Oh, congratulations to Wendy. And Wendy, I can, um, let me check and see if I can add this to your other painting. Because I know you had, I think you had two other paintings. And they're still, yeah, they're still drying. Those are still drying. They're almost dry, so I can add it to that bundle. So congratulations to Wendy. Wendy is the owner of, well, I guess you're going to have to name it whatever you think it should be. So 
now we've got to name it and you can name it obviously any name of your choice and then we also had suggestions for Merry Grinchmas, Neon Tornado, Neon Thunderstorm, The Grinch's Heart, Neon Key West, and Lucky Charms. So really you could do any of those or make up your own. I'm pretty sure I can it'll all fit in a box. Because you have the smaller paintings too, so those will bundle up pretty easily. You had the sets of four, which were really cool. Rotten lungies are hard. <laughs> okay, so Merry Grinchmas it is, which I love that. Just, just Grinch vibes. That's what I get from it is Grinch vibes. And would you like to add any glass to your Grinchy painting, or do you want to leave it as is? And just look at these cells. It's cool because you've got the white cells, and then they turn into red cells, and then there's some green cells. And then there's our Grinch face. As is. Okay, awesome. Well, we'll leave this guy as is. I hope you love this. This is a perfect painting for this time of year. So thank you very much, Wendy. I just love that part with the cells. It's looking pretty wild. I love it. This is a good color combo. Okay. Let's see, and we already have, let's see, that was painting number five, and we already have colors written down for number six and number seven. So the next one, let me gather the colors together, and then we can figure out which ones we can vote on the colors we want to use, because I believe there's like multiple pinks and purples, so we're going to have to figure out which ones we want. So, okay. Okay. That one was really awesome. I love that color. And the drip tray looks pretty cool too right now. Um, let's see. Light pink. Let's just get out all of our pinks. I feel like that helps us make good decisions. We see all of them in front of us. All right. I think rose gold is a pink. We'll just put it in with the pinks. Um, light purple. That's easy because I only have one of those. And that's pretty standard. Light purple. Light yellow. Light blue. Okay, I've got two things that could be considered light blue. So... And then light pastel green. Mm, I guess that means this one. And white and tan. Ooh, I don't know if I have a tan. I can probably make one. using the sienna. I can definitely make one. Okay. Um, and then white. Okay. So we got a lot going on here. All right. So these are the colors that we're definitely using. This is giving me very pastel Easter vibes. Ah. So we've got these colors that we're using for sure. We're using yellow, um, lavender, light green, and white. Okay, and then we're going to vote on the pinks, and we're going to vote on the blues. So let's see what happens. Uh, wine helps make good decisions. Oh my gosh, I, sh oh, I should be drinking tonight, especially after the disaster area that happened this afternoon. I was so excited to do that spirograph thing, and then it just all fell to crap in about two seconds. So, 
but we're going to fix the setup and get it working again. And then hopefully we'll try it again. But, um, it was kind of funny, actually. I have it on video. I'm probably going to put it on my Instagram in case anybody wants to see the disaster happen live. I showed it to my husband, and he, like, laughed his ass off. He thought it was hilarious. So, um, I'll probably be posting that on my Instagram this week. So, everybody, we can all laugh together because it was pretty funny. Um, but, yeah, we've got light blue, and then we've got sky blue. It was, oh my gosh, what a disaster area. Oh, it's, um, it's, um, eco posh for you. It's the same as my name, all my social media. I also have a website, eco posh for you.com. I've got, um, like I've got every social media pretty much. And um, eco posh for you is under each one. So feel free to follow me. I'm trying to be better about posting on there, but Okay, I'm seeing. Okay, it looks like a lot of people are liking this color. To oh, you want to mix them together? Let's mix them together. I think we should definitely do that. Okay, so I've got to mix the tan, and then we'll mix the blues. Okay, now we need to pick the pinks. So this is what I have for pinks. I'll just pick each one up, and we can vote on them, um, like yes or no. So I've got neon pink. I have another bottle of this, but this is neon pink. Okay, we're liking the neon pink. Um, I've also got, this is purple neon, but to me, I feel like this is a pink. But I don't know if you guys want to put this in there or not. Okay. Usually, everybody's pretty good on the same page. Like, Okay, and then I've got this rose gold. Okay. Um, and then I've got, this is just, it says pink, but I really feel like this is a light pink or like a baby pink. Okay. We're liking that. Okay. Then I'm just going to go ahead and say no to the smoky pink. Cause I don't think smoky pink goes with those other ones. Okay. So decisions have been made. Now we have to decide if we want cells and how many cells or how much cells do we want? Do we want no cells or do we want cells? And while we're deciding that, I'm going to go ahead and mix our tan, which I'm going to use the rest of my sienna. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of white. All right, that one's not open. I'm trying to make a tan here. We'll see how that works out for us. Okay, everyone wants cells in the yellow, so let's put cells in the yellow. going to definitely need a little bit more. I guess I have to open this guy. It needs to be a little bit more tan. Okay. Then we're going to mix our blue together. And we're just mixing both of these guys together to make a blue. We got our light blue. Because we can make our own colors if we want to.
Ooh, that's a pretty blue. I love that. That came out really pretty. That's pretty. Michaels was dead. They have the artist loft in giant sizes, the paint. Did you check and see if they had this color? I'm just wondering if anybody has this color anywhere in Michaels. Okay, well, I'll lighten up the tan a little bit more. You're lucky. You know what? Maybe that's the key to going to Michaels is at night before they close. Like going later. I'm an early, like I'm a morning person. I go to bed early. I get up really early. Um, and I'm always there, like right when it, op you know, when it opens usually. I'm that loser that's right there waiting for the door to open. Like, hey, it's me. I'm here. Ugh, you went at the best time then. You definitely went at the best time. Okay. Because, yeah, I was there this morning. Mm -mm. I, I didn't even want to. I wanted to go home before I even walked in the door. That's how crazy it was at Michael's this morning. Ugh. I think it's okay. I think people should just do what's better for their own schedules, you know? I don't think if you keep different hours or, like, you know, like, my parents always used to think you have to get up early or whatever. You're, like, lazy. I don't think it really matters what your schedule is. I think as long as you make the best of the schedule you have and you try to use your time as best you can, that that's really all that matters. Because some people are night owls. Some people are morning people. I used to be a night owl until I got older. And then it's like, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it changed. I turned into my grandparents. This is giving me very much spring Easter vibes. Okay, and we were going to do cells in another one of the colors, right? Which other color? I know. See, me too. Oh, see, well, if you work in a restaurant, like, those are just the hours that you keep. I mean, that's just how it is. I know, I feel like we should dip some eggs, too. This totally looks like Easter. I really love it. All right, that guy, I think, has just about had it. Oh, come on now. I hate it when this happens. The seal's not even on it. The seal's already off for whatever reason. Because guess what? It's stuck in this. This is like a metaphor for my life. This right here. Ugh. All right, there's that guy. I really do love that pink neon, though. Um, did I do purple? Um, no. Well, we have light purple. We can put cells in this guy. Okay, so we've got our cells. And now we mix. And we see if it comes out looking like Easter. Because sometimes you could look at it and be like, oh, this is going to look like an Easter theme. And then after it mixes, it doesn't look anything like Easter. That happens to me too. But that's what these colors already look like to me. So There's our tan. Which is kind of like a pink tan. I don't know, but I feel like it looks really good with the other colors. I need to try to find some more browns. They just don't sell a lot of browns. But once again, that's why we might have to go back to making our own colors and just get some more acrylic paints. Because I feel like you're more limited when you buy poor paints, you know? But they have these little acrylic things in like every color, so...
Might have to go back to the beginning and just start mixing our own paints because we don't like the colors we're getting. I don't know. If any of you guys have looked at the pour paint section, I think you know what I mean. There's not as many colors in the pour paints as there are like the little acrylic guys. And then our neon pink. This is going to be a smorgasbord of color. Ooh, look how pretty the pink looks in the yellow in this cup. That looks cool. I like those colors together. And you can kind of see the side of the cup. And then we'll see if it if we see all the colors or you know, sometimes they get swallowed up when we paint them. Uh, Christmas, Easter, 4th of July next. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'll take a look at the folk art paints. We may just have to start mixing our own. Like I said, we may just have to start doing that because I just feel like we... We start getting really limited in our choices. And I don't like that. I like to be able to have lots of colors so that we can make every color we want. We can do any color combination we want, anything. So we may be doing, we may be doing that. And really there's no difference. It just takes a little longer because you're mixing your own stuff. But yeah, the pink and that yellow is real pretty together. That's one of my favorite parts in this so far. But we'll see what colors decide they want to make an appearance tonight. All right. So I've got our list of the colors that we used for this. Light pink, pink. Let me just write down. We used light pink. Pink neon, we used yellow, we used light blue and sky blue mixed together. Got it. All right, one, two, three. Well, this is different. Oh, I love all these bright colors. This is a very cheerful painting. I can already tell this is going to be very cheerful. Okay. Thank you, Bex. I'm going to go again to Michael's tomorrow and I'm going to look around because I feel like we need some more color options. So we're just going to have to mix our own. I know. I was expecting to see more pastel in this too. But this is definitely a lot more. This, this is turning out kind of neon y. I like it. We may see some of the, like, lavender. Well, I see some of the lavender. There's some lavender right there. Just don't know if we'll end up with it or not. I love this. This is so cheerful. Yeah, the colors definitely, there were some colors that definitely took over. But I feel like you can still see a lot of the colors in it. But yeah, definitely the light blue and the, I'm not really seeing as much of the light blue and the light purple. I don't know, it's kind of in this corner. You can kind of see the light blue there. And there may be some nice cells that develop. It looks like there's some blue cells they're starting to come out. They're real tiny, though. I really like this color combo. I didn't know it was going to turn out to be quite this neon, but I love it. 
like I said, these neon colors have really grown on me. And look what it did to the drip tray. It really brightened it up. So I'm kind of going to let it just drip down a little bit more because I'm really trying to see if we can get some of these other colors out of it. It looks like we are kind of getting a couple of them. This looks like a rainbow. It's real pretty. So let's take a close up look on this guy. I love that. You know what? The um, That blue looks really pretty in the corner. And it looks like there are some pretty blue cells that are coming out of this, too. <laughs> Sherbert, Jinx, oh my god. As soon as I thought it, I looked up and you typed it already. It's exactly what I see, too. This is Sherbert. Let me write that one down, because that is a good name. Yeah, we usually pour the drip tray after, but we should try uh, putting a canvas underneath it and see what happens. I think that'd be cool, too. Maybe we'll do that for tomorrow's show. I've actually really been wanting to try that, because I've had a couple people suggest it, and I think we should definitely try it. All right, I've got Sherbert. And there's the sky blue. So we ended up getting definitely some sky blue out of that. And then you can see the orange and the, where the orange and the pink have kind of mixed together too. And then you can see the blue cells coming through. There's definitely some blue cells. These look cool. Look at these cells. They're kind of like iridescent because it's got the light blue and then the neon green. That's cool. I feel like the lighting is not really, we're not really doing this painting justice here, but this part's really neat where the orange and the pink kind of meld together. Okay, good. Yeah, I moved my light back a little bit. I've got, it's like, what? It's too much lights, too few lights. Ugh. Because I want everyone to really be able to see the colors so that way you guys can really see what's going on. But I love these cells. These cells are really colorful. Yeah, the blue is really pretty. And I've also got this big, like, overhead lamp. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Now we can see it. Okay, let's take a look at it one more time, and then we'll auction it off. But I just want to really look at these cells. I like how the pink and the orange blend together. Or I guess that's yellow, isn't it? We didn't use orange. It makes this really cool sunsetty color. This was a good color combination. I really love this. Put an asterisk by this guy. I don't know. They all end up looking pretty cool, honestly. But I just really love this one. And everybody seems to be pretty much in agreement. This is Sherbert. 
because we have two suggestions. We have Rainbow Sherbert and Sherbert. So, Sunset Planet. I definitely see a sunset in this. These are definitely could be sunset colors, especially right through there. That's pretty. Blow of Sherbert. Did you mean bowl? Bowl of Sherbert. <laughs> I thought so. See, I knew it. It's because everyone's got Sherbert on the on the brain now. So we'll go ahead and auction this guy off. This was, let's see, number six. And this guy is going to be a 12 by 12 painting. So this is 12 by 12, and it's got some really pretty cells in it, pretty Sherbert colors. Definitely these are neons, um, but the cells in it are really cool because you can see the light blue and the neon green, and it's like little layers of cells, which are pretty cool. So I'm really happy with the way this one came out. I always tend to love the neons, though. They always come out with a nice pop of color, so... I think we did pretty good on this one. Um, and you can still see a lot of the colors. You can still see some of the lavender through there. You can definitely see the light blue in the corner, which I really like. Um, and then, of course, you can see the light blue in the cells, too. So this is one where we can really see almost all the colors in it, which doesn't always happen. So congratulations to fashion. 213 Four six five. You are the winner of a beautiful neon painting. And so now we have to name the painting. So you're going to have to name the painting. Um, and you can name it whatever you want. You can come up with your very own name. Or you can use one of our suggestions, which we have. Rainbow Sherbert, Sherbert, Sunset Planet, and Bowl of Sherbert. Lots of Sherbert in that one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's cool. I really like it. I like the blue in it. The sky blue is real pretty. I think the combination of the sky blue and the neon green, though, that's really what I like. Especially in some of the cells. If you guys want to take a look. This is what I'm talking about, especially that one. You see how you see the blue? And then it turns into the green. That's so cool. And then there's another one where it does that. So I really like that. So congratulations to fashion. So you get to pick any name that you want for the painting. And if you don't want to pick out a name, we can always pick out a name for you too. We do have some very good suggestions. So Oh, and then you get to decide if you want glass on the painting as well. So you get to pick the name, and then you get to choose if you'd like to accessorize your painting with some glass. And we do have a couple options for the glass in case you've never seen how it works before. Um, we have light pink glass. We have light blue glass. And we also have um, like smaller pieces of antique gold glass. And then we also have our clear slash silver glass. And you can add, you can choose to add it to the painting or you can choose to leave it as is. It's totally up to you. And then let me grab a painting where we added glass. Look at this really pretty. I love this painting. This one turned out so pretty. And look at the beautiful cells in this guy. Um, and we added a little bit of glass to the painting. So you can kind of see an example of how it ends up looking. Um, and like I said, you could add it to a certain quadrant. Or, you know, like there was, we just added a little bit to the blue there and a little bit to the white. So it's totally up to you. It's just an optional add-on. Um, just 
just kind of fun little addition there. Rainbow Sherbert. Perfect. I love it. That's a great name. I'm so glad. I am so glad, Fashion. I hope you love this painting. Um, and did you want to add any glass to your painting? Did you want to add any glass accents anywhere? Or did you want to leave it as is without any glass? Because you can choose whether you want to add the glass or not. Totally optional. Everybody usually has their own way they like it to look. So I think it could go either way, honestly. I think it could be, I think it looks good without glass, but I think you could also add glass too. Okay, everyone suggests they're asking for, fashion is asking for suggestions and you guys are great at suggestions. You got a lot of uh, people with good taste in the chat, so. So you've got a couple suggestions. Um, and we can also add, we can mix the glass together into one color, um, or we can put this color here and this color there. You know, so many ways to do it, really. Okay, you want to add some pink and gold? Now, do you want those to be mixed together? Um, or do you want, like, pink here and gold here? Or we can do it however you want to do it. You're thinking, wow, I wasn't expecting to make all these decisions today. <laughs> Mix for sure. Awesome. Okay, where should we put it? If anybody has any good suggestions for fashion on where the placement of the glass should go. Honestly, there's probably so many places to put it. Um, and then we can mix the pink and the gold together to make a really pretty look. Oh, hey, JMG. I hope you had a good time at church. Yeah, we, um, we just started um, not too long ago. We're just trying to make some decisions on glass. We did a really pretty Sherbert painting, so. Okay, so the pink in the pink area, okay. And then, um, and then the gold, we can put the gold, so we can kind of like put the pink in the pink area, I'm thinking like right here. And then maybe if you wanna put some gold like where the yellow is, I don't know. Okay, perfect. It just gives it a little bit of shine, you know? It just gives it a little bit of extra. Ah, oh, perfect. Well, great minds think alike then. And I always start out just by adding just a little bit. And then if you want more, you can always tell me. Because um, as everybody knows, it's always easier to add more than it is to take it away. So let's take a close-up look on this guy and then let's figure out if you want a little more or if you want to add it to another area or if you like it as is. Um, I do sell a couple paintings in my shop sometimes. I don't know if I have any right now. I had one or two on there and I think they sold. Um, but I do have one or two paintings that I need to add to my store that I haven't done yet. But generally, I mostly do these live. Um, and I also do custom orders if you have a request um, for certain colors or a certain canvas size. I do um, take custom orders pretty frequently. So you can always send me a message if you have questions about pricing or anything like that. I usually don't charge too much for my custom paintings, so... Mostly just depending on the canvas size. But we've got our glass here on the bottom right, and this is where we put the pink. So we can figure out if you'd like me to add a little bit more pink, or maybe if you want it um, in a different section. You want to add pink, but that's what the pink looks like, and then this is what our gold looks like. 
and it looks really cool in the in that color. I love the way that looks. That was a really good choice. So you can figure out if you like it as is or if we should add it somewhere else. So you may want glass somewhere else too. Okay, you want to add a little more? Okay, perfect. Um, I probably could make a flower out of glass. I've never tried to do that, but I probably could make something like that. It would just depend on a lot of different things, really. So do you want to add more glass where it is right here, or do you want to kind of bring it out into more of the pink? Because we can um, add a little bit more and have it kind of come out more. Um, or if you want it like a little thicker through there. Totally up to you. And let me do a close-up so you can see what I'm talking about. Because we kind of just have it right here on this pink section. We could add more and expand it right there if you want. Totally up to you. But we could definitely do that. Okay, the pink glass to come out more. Perfect. Yeah, I... Um, I might be able to do something like that. It just depends on what your request is and exactly, but um, that is really pretty. I'm loving this pink glass. My favorite is this gold though, right here where it's in the yellow. It looks so cool. It almost made more little cells. When I put it in there, it made little cells around the glass. It looks so cool. So let's do a close up on this guy. See what you guys think. Yeah, I love the gold. Isn't the gold pretty? Look how pretty that is. What do you think about the uh, pink? You think we extended it far enough, or do you want it out a little more? Or do you just want to add more? Maybe it might need more. Look at that pretty, uh, like, catching the light there. It gives it a nice little glimmer, which I just love. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I love it, too. I think it's so pretty. Um, I don't really paint paintings. We kind of just do pour painting, which are pretty abstract. But they sometimes turn out like they look like cherry blossoms. You can see all kinds of things in these paintings. Since it's abstract art, you see a lot of different things. Yeah, look how pretty that is. And look at the cells. That's gorgeous. So congratulations to fashion. And then I also send these out. Most of you guys hopefully have already gotten yours if you've purchased paintings from me. But I also send out these buttons and I have bottle openers and mirrors and things like that. So I always put these in with the paintings too um, as well. Jules came up with the name Backseat Painters and so it just kind of caught on. Um, awesome. Well, congratulations. Bex can do paintings. Bex can actually paint things. But, um, I just kind of like do abstract art, I guess is the, is the term for it. Like with colors. So, um, and painting sets. No, um, I have auctioned off painting sets on my show before. But I haven't done it in a while, um, but I do that sometimes where I'll auction like a starter kit and a couple um, canvases. If anybody's interested in me doing that again, just let me know. Because I do have a lot of that stuff laying around. 
So, yeah, and you guys should definitely check out Bex. Bex does a lot of different kinds of art. She does mosaics, all kinds of cool stuff. So, you guys need to check it out and support. Let's see if we have colors. Oh, we do. We have colors for the next one, too. Nice. Okay, so we did actually did have suggestions for this guy, which is really nice. Because that gives us a direction to go. Um, and this is going to be kind of like our snowflake type theme that we were doing. Like our uh, snowflake slash glacier slash frozen type painting. So let's see, metallic white. Cobalt blue, light blue, silver, teal, and we made our own teal, I think. Last time we used, we used our deep turquoise and we mixed it with our pearl medium and we made our own like cool pearly teal color. And then rose gold with cells. Okay. Gotcha. All right. This is going to be easy enough. Okay, good. You guys figured it out. It's hard to see like some of the pictures, the profile pictures and the things on Posh sometimes. I feel like the icons are small, but maybe in my old age, I just can't even see anymore. I can't hear, can't see. This is no fun. Um, so here's that really pretty uh, color that we made last time. And we're just basically mixing our deep turquoise with our iridescent medium, which gives it a nice, pearly, soft color to it. I know, I feel like I need reading glasses, I need a cane, I need, a, I need all kinds of stuff. I need a hearing aid. Ridiculous. Yeah, I'm like 42 going on 89. Like, literally, that's how I feel. I just thought it was, like, exaggerating. People are like, oh, wait till you turn 40. I'm just like, ew, no thank you. And now it's like, okay, I see what you mean. I don't know. I feel like my hardest birthday, though, was when I turned 30. I was so upset about turning 30. I don't know why. It sounds stupid now, but I was so upset about it. And my best friend's mom was like, I don't want to hear it. She's like, okay, I probably shouldn't say this on my posh show, but I'm going to say it because this actually cheered me up. She was like, just wait until you get like gray pubes or something. And I'm like, okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about turning 30 anymore. Like, literally, she was the only person that could make me feel better. Like, that's the only thing anybody said to me that could console me that year. And now I'm turning 40, and I'm just like, yeah. I can't believe I was complaining about turning 30. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, so... Okay, good. I have something to look forward to. Thank you, Angela. Oh, wait till your 50s. Wow. Okay, this is not, okay. Now I feel not better. Okay, Angela, everybody. <laughs> Y'all are making me feel scared again. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, like getting older is like, I don't know. It's so weird because you're the same person, but you're like, you look different. I don't know. Oh, anyway, the drama of it all. So do we want to put cells in these? And what colors should we put the cells in? 
we need to take that we need to take this conversation to another place let's think colors and sunshine and frozen and we're not like getting old all of that stuff <laughs> drip pan it does look good positive thoughts positive thoughts oh. Yeah, that's a good idea, Taja. I like Taja's idea. Let's just not even count it. Let's just pretend it's not happening. And then we don't have to worry about it. I'm going to turn I'm going to turn 39 every year. That's what I'm going to do. That's awesome, Foxy Roxy. Cells. Okay, cells. Okay, let's focus on the cells. Okay, let's focus on the positive. We're just gonna put cells in these colors because they're already in a cup. Oh, you know what, Angela? You're so right. That is true. You're so right. Th thank you, that's really, thank you. We are getting into the negativity zone. Luckily, Angela has brought us all back. So, <laughs> oh my God, there's no way, Bex. You do not look 50 at all. Ugh. Okay, Angela's making us all feel grateful. Not negative. I'm really liking that. I think some of you guys lie about your age, though. Some of you guys look way too young to be the ages you say you are. So rose gold. And if you guys will remember, this was our snowflake frozen type theme. I don't know, maybe I should start telling people like I'm actually 60 so they can be like, wow, she looks so young. You know? Oh, wow. Yep, exactly, Cassie. Treasure every minute you have. Ten kids? Good gravy. Thanks, Cassie. Well, I hope you enjoy it. This is kind of relaxing. That's the point. We're here to have a good time. And this is one of my favorite hobbies. So I really enjoy being able to share it with people because, I don't know, it's more fun when um, people can watch it. and It's more fun for me, too, because people have given me some awesome ideas for colors that I could not have thought of on my own. Because if it's me, I'll just do, I would do blue and copper paintings. That's pretty much all I have in my house. I haven't done any of these color combinations until I started doing this posture. Like it really um, takes me outside of my comfort zone. And I like it. Because sometimes some of you guys will be suggesting colors and I'm like, uh-uh, that is going to look ugly. That is going to look terrible. I don't even know if I want to do these colors. But then I do the colors, and I'm like, wow, this is the best painting I ever saw. So I've learned to trust the process now because it always comes out amazing. And when people suggest something that may not be something that I would necessarily choose, I just remember that it always lo looks beautiful. So I've never been disappointed. So this is really great for me. Backseat painters, the backseat painters, you guys are the ones with the skills. You guys are the ones with the color combinations. I'm just, I'm just the one with the hands. Like I say, I like to, this is my favorite line. My hands look like this. You guys can have beautiful, uh, polished nails and your hands don't look terrible. Okay. This is what I go through so that you guys can have perfect hands. Um, 
It takes a village. <laughs> it really does. Because, like I said, I wouldn't even try half of these color combinations without you guys. And they turn out so great. I'm never disappointed. Party! We're doing up the party pour. Party pour, party pour. Okay. Oh, I love these colors. This is one of my favorite color combinations that we've come up with for the holidays. This is our snowflake color combination, which I just love. Isn't it pretty? We love that party pour. It really gives it a cool effect though. And look at all the cells going crazy already. This is, I can tell this one's gonna be awesome. I really love the way all of these have come out though. So wintry and dreaming of the world. We've got our jingle cells. Lots and lots of jingle cells in this one. Jingle cells, jingle cells. Ooh, and look at the rose gold. You can see all the colors in this one. This one turned out great. Look how pretty that is. And then look at all of the rose gold right here. Wow, I love that. And look how pretty the rose gold is. Just keep in mind that this is going to dry a nice pink metallic. That's pretty. Love it. A sheep made out of glass. <laughs> yes, I love it, Wendy. It's freaking awesome. I love it. I love this color theme, though. We've done this is our third one that we've kind of done the same color theme with. And they just all turn out gorgeous. Yep, each color. You can see each color in it, which is what I love. Where's the penguin? I want to see the penguin. We need to see the penguin, and then there's a sheet made out of glass. Oh, I see the penguin. Maybe. I mean, to me, I see his beak right here. Like, that's the penguin. And then a bear face or a kitten face. Like right here. I see that. If we're looking at the same thing. Sometimes, sometimes we're all looking at the same thing and then sometimes we're looking at different stuff. Right side edge. I'm looking for stuff too. I'm like, okay, I need to see it. Let's do a close up. Let's do a close up. <laughs> what are you people smoking? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, sometimes we're all smoking the same thing because we see the same thing in the painting. So, <laughs> I don't know. I think sometimes we're like all on point on the same place in the same place. <laughs> we're breathing in too much paint I think that's a problem but look at that pretty rose gold and then all the little cells within cells it's a cellception and then you can see the pretty blue cells and you can see the metallics really coming out in this one this is really pretty I love it. I think the only color we didn't do in this one is the lavender. I think we, this was, we used rose gold instead of the lavender. And that was the difference in this guy. And I like it. Looks nice and wintry. Oh, wait, let me get my notebook here so we can write down names. Let me see. The rose gold is, I see a horse 
that unicorn head. I do too. Like there's definitely something in the rose gold. I see a Scottish, uh, like Yorkie dog blowing like bubbles. I know that's weird, but <laughs> once again, what are you guys smoking? <laughs> okay. Ice storm. Wintery. Glacier. Yeah, I like Frozen, too. Ooh, JMG's got the Hershey's uh, Christmas Kisses again. Mmm. Those are so good. Frozen. Antarctica Bliss. Frozen Animals. Snowflake Kiss. A woman in a blanket bottom left. I'm just like, I want to be wrapped in a blanket. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do right after this. Well, actually, I take that back. I'm going to spray a couple paintings so they'll set overnight and they'll be ready to mail to you guys tomorrow. I mean, I can kind of see that. A lot of people are seeing stuff in this rose gold looking. I see a dragon. There's his eye. There's his ear, and there's his snout. The Elsa painting. We'll call it Elsa. Uh, okay. He can make his own dinner. We have macaroni shells and cheese in the counter right now. Um. <laughs> Perlodestic, perl perlestic, perlesthetic waves. I think you spelled it right. I think I just didn't say it right. I love shells and cheese too. Have you guys heard about the lawsuit going on with Velveeta right now? I think it's some woman in, I want to say Florida, but don't quote me for sure, is suing macaroni or Velveeta shells and cheese. Because she says they are not ready in three and a half minutes or three minutes, like the box says. So she's suing them because they aren't ready. She said, okay, it's false advertising because on the box it says three minutes and it does not take three minutes. So it's a class action lawsuit. You guys can get in on it if you want to. So everybody might want to jump in on that one. <laughs> she needs to get a job. You need to get a life. <laughs> yes, just like the, um, exactly, Bex, just like the McDonald's coffee's too hot. It's exactly like that to me. These frivolous lawsuits. Three, three minutes or give me a million dollars. She's like, it's false advertising. Okay, so Wendy's definitely not going to be joining the class action lawsuit. <laughs> It's so funny. I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, really? Like there's so much going on in the world now and you're worried about your macaroni and cheese. Like I live in the mountains in Colorado and like everything takes longer here, like to boil water or to do anything. And then, you know, some people's microwaves are different watts. Like, I don't know what she's thinking. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye on that and see what happens. Um, put her in the Yukon. <laughs> oh my God. I love you too, JMG. You always bring a lot of cheerfulness to this show. You're very, and you're a very cheerful person, which honestly is really nice and in the world right now. Cause not everybody is cheerful, you know? Like, trust me, I went to Michael's this morning. There were 800 people there. They were not cheerful. <laughs> well, I wasn't really that cheerful either, so I guess I couldn't, can't, shouldn't be lecturing anybody else. Um, <laughs> but, uh, anyway. But, yeah, people are crazy. I just think that's funny. I guess we'll just keep an eye on that and see what happens. Um. Customer service, what is that? They don't even have customer service anymore. Like, I feel like a like one of those old people that complains about stuff. And I say that as somebody that worked in retail for many years. 
Like I worked for Estee Lauder. I worked for Clinique. I worked for Sephora. Um, I did makeup, um, like makeovers. I sold foundation, all that kind of thing. And I had people lose it on me before. I had one lady throw a lip gloss at me. I had all kinds of drama. Like, but I was always really nice to people. Like I always wanted to make people feel really good when I did their makeup. And I always wanted to take the time with them. And, you know, so, but not all people are like that, you know. Um, but I always enjoyed, I enjoyed it. So, but a lot of people don't do customer service anymore. I think it's something that's kind of disappearing. It's definitely a very hard job. Dealing with the public is a very hard job. 100%. So definitely, definitely a pain. I'm really glad I'm not in retail right now. But um, I've been on both sides of that equation. So <laughs> That's awesome, Beth. Um, that's cool. Yeah, this is a really cool type of art. But yeah, it's uh, it's not easy working with people. Oh, in a restaurant? I can't even imagine. Good for you. I would have called the cops on them, too. Some people are just downright, like, hateful. I mean, usually, I don't know. I can, I can usually handle that type of person. I just kind of ignore them. Luckily, I haven't had too many people like that. Most of the people are pretty nice. But um, every once in a while, you get people that are not as nice. So, Ugh, people, man, people. Just stay at home. <laughs> Everyone just stay at home. I recommend staying at home if you can. I don't know. It's tough. Yep, exactly, Ashley. That's the best thing you can do, especially when you're at your job. You just have to be nice regardless. And just, you know what? It's fine. It usually says more about them than it says about you, so just let them go off. That's kind of been the way I deal with them, too, but... Ugh, freaking people, man. I'm sure we've got some... Everyone's got some horror stories. Especially like, I don't know, Black Friday. I don't know if anybody went out on Black Friday. I generally don't go out on Black Friday. I used to when I was younger, but now I avoid it at all costs. But I think probably people get crazy then too. It's a crazy time of year, honestly. Like... This time of year, everybody's out shopping. Everybody's out doing stuff. Ugh. We should all write a book, I think. I think we should all write a book. It sounds like everybody's been through the drama. But everybody should stay home right now because there's a lot of people out. And just avoid them. Just avoid them. Yeah. I don't do, like I said, when I was younger, I would do the Black Friday thing, and that was only for certain stores, you know, where I knew that they were having, like, a special deal on something, and I wanted to take advantage of whatever deal that was, but other than that, mm -mm. I won't go out on Black Friday. Yeah, you can come shopping here, um, posh shows, there's lots of posh shows now, um, you know, go shop at, on the on all the posh shows. It looks like everybody's selling a lot of stuff on Posh shows lately. I think that everybody can be hooked up on Poshmark. And then you don't have to leave your house. <laughs> but, yeah, and that's true, Ursi. They, they used to do better deals than they do now, you know? Like, I feel like the deals that they run now really aren't deals. But, of course, with inflation, nothing is really a deal right now. Don't even get me started. So... Freaking ridiculous, dude. Eggs are up 30%. Like, oh, like I said, ridiculous. Oh, it's terrible. It's just killing. It's killing everybody's standard of living. It's just killing it. But we'll get through it. We'll get through it.
yeah, nine dollars for butter. Like just everything at the grocery store is bad. But yeah, butter especially, um, eggs for sure. Those are um, those are ones I've noticed definitely. Just like this is ridiculous. Yep, it's everywhere. That's definitely for sure. Ugh, what a mess. Don't even get me started. Let's focus back on the painting. Don't even get me started. I don't want to even, oh my gosh, it makes me so mad. So everybody just try to pinch your pennies and I don't know, grocery store, just try to get the coupons. That's why I get my coupons at Michael's because it's ridiculous. <sighs> Everybody's using coupons now. It's just, it's too much, but that's true. We do have art. There is that. My neighbors have chickens. They're annoying, but they're, I mean, it's cool that they have them. They're always like clucking and waking me up and stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I would think it would be a good idea to have chickens. I don't know. What do chickens do in the winter? Like, I'm assuming you don't, they're not like dogs or cats. You don't like bring them inside. You just like let them. I don't know, maybe you cover up their pen with a blanket. I don't know anything about how to take care of chickens in the winter. <laughs> so I probably might I probably shouldn't get any chickens. <laughs> how do chickens work? <laughs> okay, heat lamp. Yeah. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Like that I should have been able to think of that. <laughs> I know what a heat lamp is. That makes more sense than anything. Oh, man. Goats and pig. Okay, so they just use a heat lamp and they're okay. That makes sense. See, I probably could have thought of that answer, but I didn't. I don't know. I think chickens would be cool. But yeah, I... I don't know. Maybe not since I just didn't know how, like what to do with them in the winter. It's like, what do you actually do with chickens during the winter? But I would like to move somewhere where it's warmer anyway. So that would be nice. I like, I like warmer weather. I'm from Texas. And so I'm not used to this cold and I've been here for seven years and I'm still not used to it. I can't do, I can't do it. I need to move somewhere warm again. But that's a whole nother complaint and another story because we don't even want to talk about interest rates right now. And of course, the Fed's going to be raising those up a couple more points after we get into 2023. So just more to look forward to. But hopefully in another year or two, this economy will be in a better place. So, yeah, very relaxing. Let's talk about the economy and inflation. That'll relax everybody. Um, wow, I even put my Christmas music to sleep. My Christmas music's like, uh-uh. There we go. All right, let's be cheerful. <laughs> my Christmas music is like, I'm done with you people. Um, anyway. <sighs> let's auction off this painting. Let's do our next painting, which we actually have not picked out the colors for. So we're going to need some color suggestions for the next painting. And then we'll do the drip tray, which should be wild tonight. Because we did a lot of really different types of paintings with a lot of different colors. So, Ooh, that sounds good, Bex. Everyone's like, okay, I need a drink after this. This is too much. We're done. Um, sure, Country Roads. Let me write that down. We'll do that for our last painting. Dark green, copper, and rose gold. Nope, we're just sitting here watching the paint dry, talking about how terrible everything is. <laughs> but yeah, we'll do this one. I mean, come on. It's hard not to feel a little cynical these days, but you know... The good thing is that I know it'll pass, you know? I know that life is ups and downs, and so. 
Okay, this is number... What happened to number six? Because I thought we auctioned that one off. It looks like number six may not have gone through, but we'll do number seven. Don't worry about it, Fashion. I'll put it in a bundle for you, and we'll figure it out after the show. No biggie. Um, I'll just send you a message after the show, and I'll put it in a bundle. It happens sometimes. <laughs> we have technical issues all the time on this show. We had some big issues this morning. Um, let me tell you. I don't even want to talk about that again. But, um... <laughs> Lots of issues. But yeah, this one is really pretty. This is a nice glacier-y, wintry painting. And we have some really great um, names for this as well. Lots of good suggestions. So, <laughs> yep, the BBs went everywhere. That's for sure. And then, nice and icy and glacier-y. And congratulations to Taffy Cats. Woo! You're the winner. Okay, so now we've got to name your painting. So you get to get the you get to come up with a name, Taffy Cats. So you can have your own name, of course, anything you want to name it, or you can use one of our suggestions. We have Ice Storm, Wintry. Glacier, Frozen, Antarctica Bliss, Frozen Animals, Snowflake Kiss, Elsa, Perlacetic Waves, and Magical. So you got some choices here. Um, waterfalls. Ooh, that's pretty. You could definitely get a waterfall vibe from this guy, too. You know what that reminds me of? Is the TLC song. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Okay. And then you get to decide if you want glass or not. So would you like some glass on this painting? Or would you like to leave the painting as it is? And just to refresh your memory, we have our light pink glass. We have our gorgeous light blue glass. We have our smaller pieces of like antique gold glass. And then we also have our clear slash silver glass. Okay, awesome. So which color glass would you like, Taffy Cats? And you know, we can also do two colors. Um, if you, or I mean, we can do three, you can do all the colors if you wanted to, totally up to you, but we can mix them together into one batch. Or we could put some pink here, some blue here, some silver here. Or you could, however you want to do it, really. We can do whatever we want. But definitely Waterfalls is a good name. Blue on the blue part and pink on the rose gold. Cool. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit. And then you can tell me if you'd like a little more. After I get done. There's our blue, and then I'm going to add some pink, and then you can tell me if we have enough or if we need a little more. Sometimes we need a little more. Just depends if you're a more or less type of person. This rose gold is so pretty. This is one of the best colors, I feel like. Let's do a close up on this guy. Jingle cells, jingle cells, with a little glass. 
Um, we are. We are doing one more painting, and then we're going to be doing the drip pan, which is always fun. I'm so glad you love it, Ashley. Okay, so let's look at the pink. Did you want more blue and more pink, or um, just one of a certain one of the or blue? Okay, I'm I'm mumbling and I'm not explaining myself very well. Do you want just more blue or more pink or more of both? Okay, more blue. Like, use your words. Oh, uh, I love it, fashion. This is such a pretty um, color scheme. This is um, one of everybody's favorite color schemes, I feel like. Because we've done this. This is our third one using these colors. And they, oh, they just turn out so pretty. Just like ice. Or like a waterfall, because this guy is a waterfall. Okay, let's take a close-up look on the blue, and you can tell me if you'd like a little bit more. Very easy to add more. Not as easy to, to take it away. That's why we just add a little at a time until we get the right amount. And there's the blue. Awesome. I'm so glad that you love it. Do you feel like that's enough glass for you? We can always add more. And then there's the pretty pink and the rose gold. I love rose gold. Okay, you like it? Perfect. And this guy was named Waterfalls, which we just love waterfalls. Awesome. Yeah, I love it. That's so pretty. So congratulations to Taffy Cats. Beautiful frozen painting. And then look at the beautiful cells in this guy. And then look at that glass. And you can see when you kind of move it around how it'll catch the sunlight. It'll give you some nice little pops there. I love it. I love this color scheme, though. They've all come out really different, but they've all been really, really pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's see. This is our last one before the drip pan. And we've got a color scheme that was suggested to us, which is dark green, copper, and rose gold. So we're going to put the, that out, and we're going to go from there and see if it needs any more colors to it. So we've got our dark green. We've got copper, copper, and rose gold. Where are you? I feel like it needs something else. I don't know what, though. What do you guys think? We've got rose gold, copper, and emerald green. I feel like, I don't know, like maybe a red or maybe another green? Or ivory? Um, oh my god, Trevory and Taja were on the same page. Let's do, Nova, uh, Nova likes to call it pea soup. And ivory? Okay, let's do ivory. I think we should do all of them. What do we think about that? I like it. I think this will be interesting. All right, let's try it. Let's see what happens here. Do we want to do cells in this guy, or do you want to see if it just does it, or do you want it to do natural cells? We could go either way on this guy. Natural? All right, let's do natural cells. That way you guys can see the difference, because I think we've pretty much done cells in each one, and it's kind of nice sometimes to see... Um, the difference, you know?
There's our copper. Let's do our ivory. I've got another ivory. I just feel like this ivory is so different from the matte white. I really like it. It's like kind of a more of a creamy white instead of like a matte, like a standard white. And then let's do our rose gold. So beautiful. I think I have a feeling I'm going to like this. Emerald green. And chartreuse. We need some jingle cells, but natural ones. Yeah, this chartreuse is really cool looking. This is the Grinchy color. Or no, that was the neon green that gave us the Grinchy color. All right. This will be fun. There's our chartreuse. We've got our emerald green. And you can see the copper and obviously the ivory. And you can kind of see the side of the cup. You're seeing a lot of ivory there, but see how it looks on a canvas here. And this guy is going to be, we're going to be doing a 12 by 12 on this guy. So it's going to be a nice square canvas. Actually, this canvas has a little hole in it, so we're not going to be doing that canvas. We're going to be doing an 11 by 14. I do have one of these guys left. Yeah, they're no bueno when they've got a hole in them. So this is going to be 11 by 14. Um, let's see, this is number eight. Okay. Now let's see what happens. I have a feeling this is going to be a good color combination. This copper is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it might be another Grinchy painting. Okay, let's take a close-up look at this guy. That's pretty. I'm liking it already. I like how we have the chartreuse and the green. They're both looking really good. And that ivory was a nice touch as well. Where'd our chartreuse go? Okay, I see some coming through. It looks like we might be able to see some of these colors in it. Except the chartreuse. There's a little bit down here. And then there's like kind of like some uh, 
I don't know how to describe it. I guess str little streaks coming through. I always forget how pretty copper and white is together. You can see a lot of copper and white and rose gold in this section. I'll do a close-up on it. I love it. This is lovely. And we've definitely got some cells starting to emerge. And let's see if we get any natural cells out of this. And it looks like there are definitely a few. Got to do a close up on this guy. Oh, you know what, fashion? We should definitely do one of those. Um, I'm going to write that down to do on the show tomorrow. Because those are so pretty. I've done a lot of really pretty paintings um, using copper, ivory, rose gold, and white. It kind of comes off looking like a mother of pearl type color. So I wrote the color scheme down on a post-it, and I'll do that on my show tomorrow. Because I haven't done that, that color scheme in a while, so I think that'd be a good one to do. I, I love that color scheme. I've actually done a couple of those paintings, and they always end up really pretty. But you can definitely see a lot of little natural cells forming in this guy. And then you can see like the bigger cells coming through. Ooh, good idea, Bex. Um, let me uh, write that down, a note of that, too. And we'll do, like, a multiple painting with these colors tomorrow. But this almost looks like a geode or a crystal. And then you can see the rose gold at the top of it kind of going into the green and then you can see the chartreuse in there but it's uh definitely more faint it's not as dominant um but actually now i'm starting to see some chartreuse cells popping up and then there's some right there so you can definitely see it but it's not as uh prevalent as the other colors really Yes, it's a very gem-like painting. Um, let me write that down. That's a good thing. Emerald granite. That's a good name. And then let me write multiple canvases on the thing. Got to keep notes on my post-its. Yeah, I usually write, I'll write the colors down on the post-its, or sometimes I'll write them where it goes. But I don't know, for some reason, post-its help me remember stuff. Emerald Shores. Inside of a gem. That's my contribution, because I'm getting gem vibes, too. Emerald Shores. Emerald Isle. It does look like a sand line at the beach for sure. It's pretty. I like it. I like green and copper together though. Green and copper or any kind of green and metallic. I feel like always look really pretty. Emerald Bay. Greenland. I like it. All right, so 
Let me go ahead and auction this guy off. This is um, painting number eight. And this guy is 11 by 14 as far as size. So just keep that in mind. This is a 11 by 14 size painting. And they do take 24 to 48 hours to dry. And then I will spray them with a resin spray and sealer. And this is a clear high gloss. So it will keep your painting nice and protected for you. Um, you just to clean it, you would wipe it off with a damp cloth kind of like you would your TV set or your computer monitor, just kind of carefully. Um, and it also helps with the glossiness of the painting. It'll also keep it protected, extend the life, all that kind of thing. So, um, and we do have lots of good name suggestions for this guy um, as well. And congratulations to Country Roads. You are the winner of this glorious painting. Congratulations. So now we pretty much have to name it. So that way you can look at it and figure out what kind of vibes you're getting from this painting. And we have had a couple name suggestions. And the name suggestions, which of course you can always make up any name that you want. But if you'd like any suggestions, we have Emerald Granite. Emerald Shores, Inside of a Gem, Emerald Isle, Emerald Bay, and Greenland. So you could choose to go with one of those, or you could just name it whatever you want. Whatever you're getting from it. Green Gem, we'll write that down on our list of ideas. We have lots of good ones, so lots of good ideas. This is a, we're an idea factory in here. Emerald Shores. Ooh, I like it. Definitely feeling that vibe. And then, would you like to add any glass to this painting or would you like to keep it as is? Totally up to you. And you know that we have um, our blue glass. We have our pink glass. We have our gold um, antique smaller pieces of glass. And then we also have our silver slash clear glass. So totally up to you. You can put some glass on it or you can leave it as is. Totally depending on what your taste. As is, perfect. Awesome. Well, congratulations. And we have christened the Emerald Shoal. I love it. You know, this is almost like a festive painting, too. It could be because of the green. But look at all the pretty natural cells. It's so pretty. Well, I hope you love it, Country Roads. I hope you have a good place to put it. And I hope when you look at it, it makes you happy. And you think of happy thoughts. Because that's pretty much the point of it. Um, let me grab a little piece of paper and we're going to do our drip pour painting. I'm just getting a nice piece of craft butcher paper to put down so that we can pour our paint pan all over the place and see what happens here. This is definitely going to be an interesting one, guys. Ooh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. Let me write that down on our list. Um, so we're going to do tomorrow the copper, ivory, rose gold, and white. And then we're also going to do Nightmare Before Christmas theme, which I love, Nightmare Before Christmas. And then we can pick out the colors that we think that would be. And then what was the other thing? Angel. 
Okay. Angel theme. I love it. So we've got those, <clears throat> we've got those three things that we'll try tomorrow and we can pick out whatever we want for the angel theme or nightmare before Christmas theme. At least we've got it written down. So that way we'll remember it. I think those would be really fun to do. Nightmare before Christmas is one of my favorites. It's actually, I have a nightmare before Christmas tree that I decorate for Halloween. It's such a fun theme. It's Halloween and Christmas together. Who wouldn't like that? All right. Let's do our pour painting. With Polar Express and Christmas stories, toys. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, I like Disney. Disney's cool. I don't know. It's Nightmare. Yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas is Disney, isn't it? I have to think about that. Because they have so many. They have Pixar and they have all these other things. I don't know. They're probably all the same. Related. Okay, so this is our drip pin painting painting. And this guy is going to be um, 9 by 12 as far as the frame size. And let's pour away. See what happens. Polar Express. Yes. Oh my god. A Jack Skellington collection? That's awesome. That is so cool. I love Jack Skellington's. This is a lot of colors. Okay, let's do a close up because I don't even know how to describe this. We just have to look and see. Oh, yeah, I was wondering if Dis if uh, um, Nightmare Before Christmas was Disney or not, and I remembered it was Disney. It's just such a, I don't know, it's such a cute movie. There's definitely a lot of neons in this one, which is pretty cool. Very abstract. Which we like. Abstract. All right, now we got to take a close up look at that guy and see what we end up with there. Okay. 
Let's do a close up. What isn't Disney? <laughs> That's true. A lot of uh, kid stuff is Disney, really. That's a pretty fair point there. So there's this guy. And then let's see. Let me write down the names. Technicolor drip pan. Psychedelic colors, Crayola explosion. Psychedelic Ocean, Monet. Wow, I'm impressed that you can spell kaleidoscope fashion. I don't know if I could spell it without looking that up. That's awesome. Kaleidoscopes used to be so cool. They're like so pretty. All the different colors of glass. Far out dude. Hippy drippy. Oh. <laughs> you aren't supposed to say that fashion. You're supposed to be like, um, yeah, I'm an expert speller. I won the spelling bee of the uh, universe when I was three. <laughs> yeah, Disney or DreamWorks. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, of course I know how to spell this. This is like the easiest word ever to spell. Um, okay, so we have some really good names on that guy. So we'll go ahead and auction this one off. And this was a 9 by 12 painting. Um, and this is our drip pan painting for the evening. And yes, it is a 9 by 12 It's got all the fun colors in it. Um, we've got a bunch of name suggestions. They're all very creative and clever, as always, because we're very creative and clever people in here. And pretty much the only ideas that we have are good ones, because we all wake up and we piss excellence every morning. So we always have the good suggestions. Um... <laughs> Duh, got my spelling degree. I have a PhD in spelling. What are you talking about? Um, but yeah, this one's really cool. It's got a lot of greens and pinks in it, which I really just love. Um, lots of color in this guy, for sure. So, beautiful little painting. It's 9 by 12, so it's a nice size to kind of go wherever you want to put it. And, um, yeah, this is a really good one because it's got all the colors that we use tonight. It's got our Grinch colors. It's got our neon colors. It's got our snowflake colors. It's got all the colors. And congratulations to DK Jorgensen, who is such a sweetheart, by the way. Just a nice, nice, sweet person. Well, don't worry about it, Dark Desires, because we will be here. Um, well, I want to I wanna say I'm here all the time, but I'm here a lot. So we got lots of shows, lots of, uh, lots of fun times ahead of us. Um, and so you know you have to name the painting now. And we do have some good suggestions for you. Um, or you can give us your own special name. Totally up to you. You know how it works. You can do Technicolor Drip Pan, Psychedelic Colors, Crayola Explosion, Psychedelic Ocean, Monet, Kaleidoscope, Far Out Dude, and Hippie Drippy. Technicolor Drip. Ooh, I love it. We'll give that a nice little highlight. Put this in our notes because we are 
organized over here and very proud of it because we're basically a chat chat full of geniuses which is awesome so congratulations to you and i believe i have another painting for you let me see um let me check and see because i need to do bundles after this so you guys be expecting messages from me about your bundles after this um because I like to take care of that right after the show. And yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow our show is going to be at 1.30 p.m. Mountain Time or 3.30 p.m. Eastern, just wherever you're located. And hopefully you can join us. Um, we've got tomorrow we're going to be doing um, copper, ivory, rose gold, and white on multiple canvases. We're also going to be doing a Nightmare Before Christmas theme and an angel theme. So I hope you guys can join us. And as always, it's been a pleasure. Um, I appreciate and love you guys so much. And I thank you for joining me tonight. You're the best people on Poshmark and probably in the world. And I thank you so much. And you guys have a lovely evening. <laughs>